I go, yeah. Super family. Well, we're back with another video on this Tuesday. Uh, Mimi's going to show you how to debone some lid quarters for your dogs. Um, we have two dogs. Both are pit bulls. One mixed with a bully. And we do know that you cannot give them cooked bones because it's not good for them. So, she's going to debone it. She did some uh, turkey meat, but now we're going to do the leg quarters. So, if you can, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit your notification bell so you can get all of my videos when they come out. She's cooling it down because we had bought it for like two, three hours. Mm -hmm. See him? Mr. Glam. He's waiting around. And there goes Ivy in there. Say hey, Grammy. <laughs> okay, guys, we hit about three pounds of leg quarters, chicken leg quarters. So what I do is I usually just boil them for about two to three hours. Um, and then I just usually just um, make me a sink full of cold water and then I transfer each lead quarter into the water, the cold water to cool it down and I just kind of just, you know, I always boil it enough so the meat just falls right off the bone. So I don't have to pick it because you know the lid quarters have some tricky bones in them if you don't pay attention it's a bone something like that and that bone is usually on the uh, the drum part and that could be a very dangerous bone to a dog so I want to be extra careful that I get all those short bones because believe it or not from a young age they always teach us that dogs are associated with bones but that is a myth you guys although dogs can eat um raw uncooked uh bones are fine but when the bones are cooked the bones tend to splinter in the um in the stomach and that can be very uh detrimental to a dog because if you think about it a dry bone, just say if you were to break this bone in half, you'll be left with a lot of sharp edges, jagged edges on the bone. And you know, a lot of dogs tend to swallow things. You know, dogs don't chew all the way up. So, you know, they tend to um, swallow things whole. So just imagine me breaking this bone in half and I'm going to try to break it. Okay, we got it. So just imagine your dog swallowing that there. You know, that there could puncture their stomach. It could really mess up their intestinal tract. So it's a myth, guys. Dogs really can't eat, you know, raw bone. So I usually boil my leg quarters. And then I just usually, you know, pick the meat right off the bone. Because we give our dogs um, dry kibble. And my dogs are very selective. I don't know if they spoiled or what, but when I give them dry kibble, they don't tend to eat very well, you know. So I like to always have protein to go with it. Now, when I boil this chicken, I don't add anything to it. It's merely just the lid quarters mixed with water. And I boil that. I boil these for about two two hours to two and a half hours and I boil them so that the meat just easily comes off the bone now I do give them the gristle the gristle is good for them they can't have the gristle they just can't have the bone so that's what I'm doing I do give them the skin because the younger pup that she just showed you uh, Grimmy well his name Grams but I call him Grimmy that dog got a thousand names but 
he uh, is a growing dog. So some fats are good for a dog. But like I said, I don't add anything to the chicken. It's merely just water, you know, and the chicken. So once I get all this chicken off the bone and in my little thing here, I usually just pour a little bit of that stock uh, juice or dripping or whatever you care to call it. I usually pour a little bit into the final product, you know. And Grammy, he tends to like that. Again, I do give him the gristle. And I do give him the gristle. The gristle's all right. It's just the cooked bones that they can't have again. So I'm just gonna continue to debone this like so. Uh, you see how easy that falls off that bone there? I don't know if you guys can see that, but that falls off there pretty easy. So this usually doesn't take very long. Uh, I should have this done here in a minute. And I always do this with my hands. And I kind of mash up through there to make sure that I don't have any bones in there once I'm finished. So, this is a good form of protein for the dogs. Um, sometimes we may get a little jazzy and I'll add, uh, when I make them their, uh, their food when they're ready to eat. Sometimes I may add a, um, a raw egg to the young puppy. He, he likes the uh, raw egg. My older dog, Ivy, she's three. She doesn't like the raw egg. But sometimes I'll mix a raw egg with Grimmy's uh, protein here. And then I'll add him about a cup and a half of his uh, kibble. And currently right now my dogs are eating uh, Beneful. Uh, chicken flavor dog food they tend to like that so I'll take about probably like a hand half handful full of uh, meat I'll drop it in this bowl with a uh, raw egg and about uh, about a cup and a half of his dry, dry kibble. And Granny will eat that up with no problem. See how easy that meat comes off that bone? It comes off really easy, guys. And again, it is a myth. Dogs cannot have uh, cooked bones. Because look at this piece here. Look how sharp that is. Now, if I were to try to cut my skin with that, that would cut straight through the flesh. So just imagine that in your dog's stomach going down his throat. That's very dangerous, guys. So that's a no-no. So a lot of people, believe it or not, don't believe or can't believe that dogs can't eat cooked bones. But coming up, that's what we kind of did, you know. You ate a piece of chicken, you'll throw the dog the bone. But believe it or not, you know. See, look at that there. That's almost like a needle bass. So just imagine that in your pup's throat. That's no good. So again, I, I, I keep some skin. There's a lot of good fat in that skin. Um, like I said, my little puppy. He's a strong boy, so a lot of this stuff is good for him. So, sometimes I may even add um, a little rice to this. You know, just to switch it up for him, give him a different taste. Give him something, you know, different. Different texture. Right. Exactly. So, you know, this piece of chicken here is tend to, on the top, you know, Still got a little redness to it, but that's still fine, you know. Because some people do feed their dogs a raw diet. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I, my dogs, you know, I just boil their meat. See, that's kind of nasty. Graham, he'll eat the raw ivy. She picky, the she girl. Yeah, but my boy gonna get his meat cooked. I don't know. But a lot of people get their dog raw. They really do. There's nothing wrong with it. See, look at that. That's another piece. 
a bone. Those bones are sharp. But the thing about raw bones is uh, the bones tend to be more soft. So when the dogs bite into them, you know, they don't have those sharp edges. They are softer. So that's the difference in that. So I'll be right back with you guys when I finish deboning this. And I'll show you how I uh, wrap this up and just, you know, slide it in the refrigerator. Until the next scene. You love books. I don't know what dream you're doing. <laughs> Graham, what you doing? Okay, guys, and we're back. Okay, now I'll debone all the chicken, and I have it in my Tupperware little bowl put up and take out. Okay, so they're getting a little bit more on this video because I want to have the chicken fit in there just so the top can fit. This is how the water looks like. Yeah. Oh, let me show me. I usually pour a little bit of broth in there. Cause that tends to turn into that good gel. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there. Let that soak in. And that'll keep the meat nice and moist. And I don't know why I treat my dog's foot so like when I treat their food. <laughs> I usually take out two cups of chicken and I'll microwave it. I don't know why. So let my dog get away and put that in there. You see he patiently waiting guys. Okay guys, we got that tucked away. So this is Ivy's bowl. This is Gribby's bowl. So like we got we just got boiled chicken in there. I'll say that's about a half cup in each bowl. I tend to give Ivy a bit more. So this is one cup of dry kibble. Again, my dog, they like the beautiful chicken flavor. We're gonna give Grimmy one no, cup. No, that's beef. Oh that's beef. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'll do it like that. And then I usually take a spoon here and we just gonna mix it up. Again, I don't add any seasoning or anything to the chicken. It's just boiled chicken and all this water. It's real good. And we mix that up real good. Like that. This will be creamy. Okay, don't worry. Some of it's going to come out of there. Keep it right up and glue it right on back. Okay, guys. So, usually, I'll take about a half cup of chicken. Okay, guys. Let me show you how I do it. Okay, so I'm going to take the chicken out of there. The dogs will love it. So we're gonna put Grimmy's bowl down. Let's see how my boy likes it. That's the finished product. Mmm. We're gonna put Grimmy down. Look at the diva. Right, she's Ivy's so different. She's gotta make a grand entrance in to come and get her bowl. She usually comes in once Grimmy's halfway eating his food. She want to come in and, and eat hers. She's such a lady. Look at her paws crossed. She's just such a effing lady. Mm -hmm. Pity bull. Okay, guys, and that's the finished product of a boiled chicken and a little Tupperware bowl. And it just easily slides into the refrigerator. So I just kind of like to just tuck it here. And it's ready to go when I'm ready to make the dog's food. Well, as you guys can see, Mr. Grimmy loves it. And it's surely turn it up. See, Mr. Grimmy loves it. And it's surely turn it up. And we'll be back with another video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
hit that notification bell so you can always, always see each and every upload.